Check out my front door. It looks amazing, doesn't it? Just such a mess in there. I've got to do a big sort out of my van because there's just an unbelievable amount of junk in the back of it. I say junk, there's actually, it's all useful stuff. It's just, um, I need to clean it up and tidy it before I can use my van as a camper again. I've got a fishing rod, my hiking boots. I've got a whole beehive. I blasted 75 quid on a new hive, but it's all gonna come good when we have 10 tons of honey coming in. And I can sell it and make a killing. That is my new beehive. Pretty cool, huh? At some point that'll be full of bees. I've got a load of boxes. Just when you thought it couldn't get any weirder. Here's a bag and it's got a squid in it that I caught from the sea with this fishing rod. So I'm gonna eat this for breakfast. Definitely the coolest thing I have in my van is this. Well, not this, but this is part of it. My new toy, portable pizza oven to be seen in a video coming soon. And another box. In the back there is my camping bed, but I'm gonna leave that in there. One odd load of stuff. There we go, van tidied up. Nice. I want to actually know if any of you out there have a weirder variety of stuff in your vehicle. Maybe go to my Instagram and message me on there. Because I'd love to know if there's anyone else out there who is, um, is odd like me. Send me your photos. Get in touch. Make me feel not so alone. What am I doing? Why, why have I got a squid? So where I am now is the place which I rent. I've been living here for the last seven months. And it's pretty cool, you know, I've got my own space. But there's one downside, and it is the fact that it costs a lot. When I was looking for a place to live, I saw the rent, and I was like, hmm, that's not too bad compared to other places in the area. And uh, it was in the countryside, so it was kind of perfect, and I, and I liked it a lot. But rent isn't the only cost of living. And I realised I had to pay the same amount, pretty much, in bills, like electricity bills, council tax. However much I like it here, and however nice it is, I... I'm actually going to move in a few months. Back to my mum and dad's house. So I left my mum and dad's house about four years ago, thinking that I was, you know, leaving home and moving on with my life and, and uh, becoming independent. And it turns out that uh, I'm going to be back at square one, no more independent than I've ever been. No, it, it, I, I'm doing this because it's going to save money. It's kind of just the best financial decision, as well as it'll be nice, you know, hang out with my mum and dad more, because they're nice people. And, uh, and it's nice being with them. And yeah, my mum and dad's house is where you may have seen in my other videos where I keep my bees and I also do vegetable growing at their house. This is my bedroom. This is my front room where I do my editing. This is my kitchen. And then out here, my cars and my beautiful flowers. They're not really mine, but they look amazing. And there's bees on them. So that's my life really at the moment. That was one of the first projects of this year where I worked with my old metalwork teacher from school to create a couple of these beautiful things. This is what I'm gonna to use to chop up my squid. Squid. Tentacles. These are the best bits because they catch all the batter. This is rice flour. I looked up some recipes this morning and a few said use rice flour, so I thought I'd give it a go. When they're covered, they can go in the egg. And then I go back in the flour. Yum! Don't play with hot oil. Hot oil is dangerous. Blimey, am I blind? No, I can see. Ouch. That is just from one small squid. I've got some sweet chili sauce as well. My goodness. Oh my god. It's so good. Mm. I did get splattered in the face with hot oil though. Price you have to pay.
Luckily, it's only about 15, 20 minutes drive. Which ain't too bad. I feel very lucky to live around here. Because look at that. You just drive out the front door and you're in like the forest, in the woods. Beautiful countryside. Yeah, it's uh, pretty nice. That van over there is my dad's. He's not a van camper, he is a, uh, he's a gardener, so he fills it with plants normally. This is my old bedroom where I lived from the age of six till 18. So a fair few years, my bed was down there for a few years, my bed was over here for a few years. And then I think I moved my bed back there again for a few years. It's a funny shaped house because it's kind of in the loft and you've got this sun window here and it gets really hot in here. Now this room is used for storage. There's lots of my dad's stuff in here as well as all my beekeeping equipment, which I keep. And also I'm using this room to grow some plants. I've got some cucumber plants which I'm growing at the moment underneath some grow lights. But those are going to go out in the greenhouse at some point. Brings back some memories this room does. Living here for most of my life. Anyway, enough of that. Oh, and here's a avocado tree which I started about a year and a half ago from a little seed. My mum and dad are currently away on holiday. And there's a few things I need to do. One of the things being feed my dad's pet tortoise. And tortoises eat lettuce. Hey, Daisy. You want some food? Oh yeah, you do. Here are my beehives. I did have just the one, but then they swarmed and then I caught the swarm and now I've got two. There are so many bees flying about the garden today, making me honey. So at some point this year I can, I can make some bread and then spread butter and then some honey on. Oh, I can't wait for that day. I checked the other day in one of the honey boxes and they're already making the honey, so I am pretty hyped about that. It's really hot today, so I need to water some of the plants. These are all my dad's plants that he has got for like his clients that he does garden jobs for. But in the greenhouse, I've got some of my plants. My dad has these orchids in here, but I also have these cucumbers. They're growing quite well, actually. Look at that. It's probably going to be ready to eat soon. Look at that. Wow. Look at all of these. That's my sandwiches sorted for the next week. Just washing my cucumber. And that is good. Mmm. The variety that I grew is called Sweet Crunch. And it is sweet. And it is crunchy. Do you like cucumbers too, Daisy? Oh yeah. It's nice being able to grow food that I can not only eat myself, but also share with, with other animals as well. Daisy seems to like cucumbers as much as me. My dad's orchids will go outside in the summer. So my plan is to just cover this whole greenhouse with my cucumbers. So this whole thing is like a cucumber jungle. And then I'm going to make loads of pickled gherkins. That's my plan. It's quite nice being back here today in the lovely spring weather. And I'm actually quite looking forward to living here again. I'm going to be closer to my bees. I'm going to be able to grow plants in the greenhouse and in the garden. Righty ho, that's all the jobs that I needed to get done today. Oh, what next? I am planning to go to Scotland very soon with a friend. I'm getting so distracted, I'm meant to be converting this van into a camper, but I just can't help but go travelling, seeing as the weather is so nice. So yeah, I've got to get everything ready for Scotland, and then after that, I think I'm going to knuckle down and finish the van. 
hope you enjoyed this little insight into my life at the moment and things I'm getting up to. Uh, stay tuned because there's plenty more exciting stuff to come. See ya. This black van means it's just boiling in here. Dong, 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 dong.